So here's the theory, guys. Um, the bathroom leak, the bathroom roof, it's, it's leaking in high, high rain. So if it's not leaking all the time, this is not c concrete, but here's a thing. So you can see where I am. If you can't, that's where I am. I'm at the gate. This is the flashing. It's a flashing. It's a zinc detail. Um, and it's basically, look, you can see that's on the edge. I've got a digital. So it's out by, it's leaning in to the building by three degrees, various degrees of measurement. Essentially, I'm just gonna put that down for a second. Essentially, in high rain, because it's flowing this way, this will fill up with water. And then, I'm just before I kill myself on this fucking ladder. If that fills up with water, look at this here. That is an indication that water has gone in there. This is all sealed along here. So water is coming in. It's not going under there because it, ironically, it is actually quite well sealed. But I think it's filling up so much and this is not sealed. And you can see here, this is fresh, this is green. And I know the joint round there, um, which I can't get to, but you can see along there, I can bet your bottom dollar that that, oh, I know it's not at the right angle either. See, look, that's a good bit, but that, there's half an inch of water there. So I think what's happening is this is filling up with water. And look down there, that's your problem. And you can tell it's all green. So the water's, this is filling up with water and then it's going here and look this is new this is fresh and that's why the bathroom roof is i think leaking and there's another detail like that around there which i'll show you from the ground <clears throat> fucking climbing around again but you can see up there that that joint in the zinc is also um wet which means if the detail up there let's just zoom out which i know is out I'm just going to come down from him before i fucking kill myself um if the shelf up there is like that as well three degrees which it probably is it's filling up with water in high it's filling up with rain in high water in it's filling up with water in high rain and then this is that corner it's going into the zinc and coming down onto the roof. And here, that's where it's along the front, the last bit I just showed you. It's not down there because the joint is around here and it's flowing that way. And that's the problem. So just to call this out, <clears throat> that needs resetting. I would say you're gonna to have to take the glass off and the balcony off. Oddly enough, I wanted you to fix the RSJ up there. That's not been painted, so it'll give you a chance to do that. But I think the balcony's gotta come off and you've gotta reset the zinc so that there is a fall away from the building. That's the problem. I don't know why I get up on ladders for you guys. I really don't, but there we are. Just, if you, are you recording? Yeah. So just for the video, I'm filling up the incline. Can you go round to the other bit round there? Just round the other bit of glass, just push out the way of the top. And film the bit where it's where the zinc joins on the seam. I've been pouring that for quite some time and the water has not drained off the roof. So I can actually fill this up. Make sure you get the watering can in shot. So I'm still pouring and that's not draining off the roof. It's not dripping down. And that seam round there, can you see where the seam is? Yeah. <clears throat> that's where the water's coming in, because this is just pull up. You 
got that? Yeah. So the theory is because the zinc um, doesn't drain off the building, so just feel my hand now, Jules. See, so look, you can see I've got tons of water here. Because the zinc doesn't drain off the building, it, it, the incline takes it towards the building. It's just basically a pond of around five to eight mil water and then the width of the zinc, which is in the region of 200 mil. And that seam there, and when we filmed it on the front, there was green there, where the water is now going into the roof through that seam because it's not, uh, and all the way along to the edge, it's full of water and it's basically ponding. And that's why the leak is only sometimes when this fills up enough, it goes in through the seam and that's it. Right, we can stop now.